Hello, First Christian Church in Lafayette. Bring you greetings from your sisters and brothers in faith in Hazel, from Hazelwood Christian Church in Muncie, Indiana. And I'm Reverend Jason Jones. I'm the pastor here at Hazelwood for the next couple of weeks. I'm soon to begin a new ministry, but but here I've been so excited in this season of Lent for this chance for us to pray um, for one another. And so every week as we've worshiped, we have um, prayed for you. We're kind of like you in that we are located in a college town. We're right by Ball State University. And so we kind of understand those dynamics and, and what that's like. And uh, we're also like you, we're, we're Hoosier disciples too. And so um, I imagine there's a lot of things that we share in common, but what we share in common most of all is, is our, the faith that we have. And so I've invited folks from our church to express some of their prayers for you. And, and I've got this video here where uh, folks have shared those, whether it's a short little wish or, or a longer um, wishes, well wishes. And so this is just a chance for us to communicate with you our prayers. And so I hope hope you appreciate um, these, these words from folks here in our church. Christian Church in Lafayette. I'm Anne from Hazelwood. And during this Lenten season, I am praying for your church's welfare and that your mission in the community continues to be a blessing. Thanks to First Christian Church in Lafayette. My name is Glenn Solanke and I'm a member of Hazelwood Christian Church here in Muncie. My prayers for your congregation are pretty much the same as my prayers for our congregation. I'm praying for the health of the members, their families, and their neighbors. I pray that the reopening of your sanctuary this coming Sunday will go well. I pray that as we all make progress against this pandemic, that more and more people will be able to return to worship in the sanctuary and that you will be able to reach out to those people who, for whatever reason, are not able to return to worship. I pray for the leaders of your congregation as they face the opportunities and challenges that all congregations face. And I pray for the growth of your congregation and the opportunities for expanded mission and programs that growth provides. Finally, I pray that God will continue to bless the congregation and the community and that you have much to be grateful for. Amen. Greetings to our brothers and sisters at First Christian Church in Lafayette from Jim and Nancy. Our dear Heavenly Father, we pray to you this day for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. We lift up to you all the people who are a part of their church family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that each and every person will feel the presence of God in their daily walk. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask that each person will be encouraged to be the light of your Son to others each day. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen their ministry and witness so that others will see their example and seek to follow you. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide them in the days and weeks to come to turn away from racism, hate, and division so that love will shine through. Lord, hear our prayer. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. First Christian Church of Christ of Lafayette. Here is my prayer for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is more important than ever that we as Christians draw together in support and prayer at a time when we do not know who or what to believe. Through the study of your holy word, we are reminded that there is one truth, one God, and one body of Christ. Please bless these brothers and sisters in Christ. Let them feel your love and the peace that only you can give. Let them know they are not alone, that you are with them, and that we are with them also, united in prayer. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, my friends at First Christian Church of Lafayette. I'm Lori Roden. I'm the organist here at Hazelwood Christian Church. And as you can see, I'm coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary and right in front of our wonderful pipe organ. I wanna thank you for this opportunity to partner with you in prayer for each of our churches. And today I wanna to pray especially for the musicians in your church, so let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for the wonderful gift of music that you've given to each of us. We thank you that 
it helps to enhance our worship, worship each week, that it helps to bring the participants into your presence, Lord. We thank you for all of the musicians, for all of their gifts and their talents. We thank you for their leadership ability. We thank you for their uh, diligence in developing their gifts so that they can use it to honor and glorify you. Lord, I just pray that as they are planning worship each week, that they will be inspired uh, by you and that will be inspired to really truly um, dedicate themselves to crafting a worship experience that will really um, cause changes in people's lives and that will uh, be very meaningful for each of the participants. I just pray that as they play and sing that you will bless them in all of their efforts, that you will give them peace and joy and confidence when they play. And Lord, I just pray that you will continue to help strengthen them as they continue to do their very best each week for you and for the ministry of their church. So Lord, we, we thank you. We give you praise for this opportunity to connect as brothers and sisters. And we just ask your prayers, your continued blessing on each of our churches. And we pray this in your name. Amen. To be able to send this to you as a fellow sister of yours in Christ. And as a worship leader for Hazelwood Christian Church, um, I want to specifically lift up and encourage your leaders. I know during this last year, um, it has been very different and difficult in many ways, but there has also been many blessings and surprises along the way. But I would just encourage you to be patient um, and compassionate towards your leaders. Um, we are human and we are trying our best to bring worship to the people uh, the best that we can um, and to bring a word of encouragement and, and peace to those who need it. So for your leaders, I pray that you will remember you are loved and to take time for yourself. You need to recharge your batteries or you're not going to be able to help your congregation. So I just encourage you to find some time for peace and quiet um, daily if you can. Obviously spend time with the Lord as much as possible. And uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask for help. So uh, my prayer for all of you is that soon this will be a distant memory for us all. But uh, until then, know that you are not alone. And I hope that you gain strength from knowing that uh, we are here for you as you are here for us. I'm <clears throat> Tony Gill and um, as uh, either part of or the tech team um, that, that helps our services, my prayer would be for uh, those unsung heroes, those behind the scenes and stuff that, that help bring the word of God. Um, to your people, I know this has been a, a very different time, a very challenging time. It certainly has for us, and we've had to grow in ways that we haven't necessarily uh, hadn't anticipated. Um, so my prayer for you is going forward then would be, as someone said to me, you know, don't let the perfect be the enemy of uh, continuing to get the word out there. Um, as we look to transition back to worshiping, in our sanctuary again and not solely in the church um you know it can be that can be a difficult thing so <clears throat> you know uh, pray that you you know move forward um and do what you can to bring the the word of god to the people much like uh, you know in jesus and the 12 disciples uh, there were a lot of others as well they're helping them along the way um, that weren't named, but were just as important, that were just as critical to the mission of the church as well. So um, <clears throat> my prayer then, you know, for all of those that kind of work behind the scenes to, to bring the message, um, know that, that you are seen and appreciated. 
May God bless you and keep you and protect you. Well, grace and peace to you all. May God bless you from your um, from your sisters and brothers in the faith here in Hazelwood Christian Church. God bless you all.